Um, I just want to give you a short um, introduction to what, what we did in a small survey. Um, and I have a warning in the beginning. So we have uh, provisional results we, because we started with the question, I will introduce you to the question, what is the uh, meaning of motivation and emotions to the students and their success? Um, so we have a small sample now because, we, you know, there's always the question how to start and what is the question you have to ask. So we decided to start with a small sample and then I will invite you um, to join us for the second sample because we, try, we want to make a, a bigger sample with a new question. Um, so what we have today is we, the object is the German higher education system. I give you a brief introduction, one, one slide. Um, then our question and the theory that we tried to, uh, to figure out, then the setup and the sample and some insights about the sample. So what we have today in, in Germany is we have the proportion of students growth from 26 to 55.8 percent in a year. This is because we have uh, different ways um, of uh, going, let's say, having education to go to a job. We don't think about scientists, we just uh, think about how to come to the job. The standard way was elementary school, secondary school, advanced secondary school, then we have studies at universities, and then we go to a job, what we called academic job uh, in, in the past. And then we had this, we had sec uh, different kind of secondary schools, and we had this vocational training, but, which is a German, uh, what we called dual Ausbildungssystem, which means um, people doing vocational trainings um, and schooling in parallel and uh, go to the job. And then we had this some kind of a college where you can go after this vocational training and go to university. So that was the idea to become an academic if you go through the uh, secondary school, the Realschule. Today we have a slightly different uh, way. So we have, now we can go to the university um, without this extra training. So if you come from a job, or you did some vocational training and do some, uh, to do two years in, in, in the job, then you go, can go to the university and study, which is, on the one hand side, yeah, um, causes high dropout rates. Um, and on the other hand side, um, it is what we call uh, a social issue, yeah, because it is good to allow more people to go to universities. Yeah? So the question is how to support people to survive this. Yeah, so this is the challenge. Um, and the problem is, of course, the early abortion, termination. Yeah? So you go to, through the study process, usually, well, you should end with a degree. And the problem is not all of our students do this. So what we have, and this is the purpose of all these conferences, and so, on, so we have new methods, we have coaching, we have additional training, we have all these fine things. Um, and they are great. A lot of things are very useful. Um, so what we ask is, what is about the emotions? Yeah, this is because, um, you know, this is the effect um, of the emotion. Because we ha today we have um, several types of influence um, to the study success. Yeah, prior knowledge, cognition, as you see in 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 the in the keynote. Yeah, the different. Um, backgrounds and so on, A-level degrees, learning types, and so on. And if we look in, 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 in the literature, then we see, okay, learning types, some kind of statistically not so significant, uh, maybe just a, a figure. So, so our question was, what is about emotions? Is emotion important for your study success or is it not? So, and the idea is that we don't, so I'm an engineer, so the question is not just looking if emotion has any insight, so the question is what, what sh can we do with this? And the idea is using this, let's say, some kind of emotion as a benchmark for our current in inter interventions. Yeah, because if we, today, if you see that the, the, le the degrees are not so good, the marks are not so good, then we try to support the students. And the idea was if we find a way to, uh, to figure out how the emotions come in, we can use this as a benchmark uh, for these interventions. Um, this all 
based on a general model of behavior. Of course, yeah, we ha you have a goal. The goal influences your behavior. Yeah, this is what, what uh, social science gives us. So, and we said, okay, there's a mid-goal. It influences influence our behavior. Um, and then we have negative emotions or maybe positive emotions. Yeah? You see, if you go through it and you have a positive exam, everything is fine. And of course, at the end, the goal is after some of these mid midterm goals, yeah, having the degree. So the question is, can we use this as indicators for the success of maybe as predictors uh, yeah, to, in, uh, to intervent? Um, so let me look. What we did is we just tried to find out if there is, let's say, a model uh, which already re relies to emotions. And the only thing that we found is these learning zone models, which is also not scientific. It is just written down by some teachers, and there is some literature about it, but there's no, nothing, we, we didn't find anything which is uh, statistically uh, correct. So what we said is, is maybe the idea is, so we have this comfort zone, the learning zone, the panic zone, which, which is, let's say, from, from a teacher's perspective. So they just find out that somehow it works. And the only message that we find here is everybody has a zone where he or she can learn. Yeah. So that's it. So and what we tried is we, we, we brought these emotions, or we tried to, to bring these emotions to these zones. Um, so the question is, uh, which emotions do engineering students experience during different states of their study programs? This is the first question. Uh, just to see what happens in the field. Are they happy all the time? Not, of course not. So the question is, what, what is going on? The second question is, how are the study motives and the emotions related to the study success? Yeah, because we have in literature a lot of uh, uh, papers about the, the motives for studies are related to the degree, but it is not really true. It doesn't work. It was a nice idea, so we, we tried to figure out if, if we can uh, ask this question or maybe get an answer. Um, and the other question is, can we predict the study success somehow? or let's say the successful. So what we did is st classic setup. We have paper-based um, questionnaires. You see, just to tick down. We have pseudonyms to, to, have, to find the questionnaires which are in, in one line. The setup was one semester in the beginning, so first um, lecture in the semester, then in the middle of the semester, and just one, uh, one or two weeks before the examination uh, we ask a student. And we find out that paper-based and, let's say, hand it out and get it back gives us much more answers than just setting up a Google form, sending around a link using Moodle. Um, so this is what we found. 138 engineering students. I said that sample is quite small, that you just wanted to start. 90% um, of them are male. That's the diversity question that we already <laughs> discussed. And this is interesting because we have 40, the share of, of students is 40% female. So the females don't answer the questions. Um, most of them are 18 to 20 years old, which is related to the, to the schooling system. Then we have 108 bachelor students uh, and so on. You can see the numbers in the paper, which is not so interesting. Um, so we have a university, we have a, a University of Applied Science, uh, and everything was set up in year 2017. So the semester is 17, 18 semester. So this was the emotion map that we used. This is just the emotion map get from the literature. Yeah. So um, um, then we have we ask about the general motivation, yeah, because the uh, question two was, is there a relation between study success and the uh, motivation to, to study this? Um, then we have the current motivation. Yeah, so why did you do this exactly at this point? Um, then we had uh, the study success so far. Yeah, so we just tried to, to ask them, are you a successful student or are not a successful student and so on? And this is just 
uh, the German grading system. Yeah, one is the best and five is failed, so they just just ticked out by there. Three. Okay, um, so I think I, I switch over the descriptive, which is not so interesting. Be yeah, yeah, no problem. So um, what is interesting, um, we didn't found, and this is interesting because there is, in literature, we found a lot of uh, studies where they found it, a relation between study motives and study success. I don't know why. And the second interesting thing is, because there are a lot of other things which are interesting, but um, the relationship between technical interest and negative student grades. Mechanical engineering students. Something is wrong. So this is uh, what we want to find out in the next. Um, the, so this is descriptive statistic, OK? Um, and this is why I'm here. We need a bigger sample. <laughs> yeah, we need an international sample, of course. We need more than 10% female students in the sample. <laughs> Um, so I just skipped the conclusion because you can see it in the paper. Um, so the next step is another survey with two research questions. Um, the first one is going to practice which are the methods to use to solve uh, negative uh, problems caused by negative emotions. Um, and the second question is can we observe something what we call the emotional state, and can we use it for, to predict problems as an indicator or something like that. So this is where you come in. So if you are at the university and you say, ah, I'm a teacher, I'm a lecturer, I'm a professor, and I'm interested in this, um, just send us an email. MDIC is the product name. This is uh, our institute. And if uh, we just give you a feedback about the next uh, survey. What we do is we do it paper-based, so you get a PDF file and send us back the scanned um, PDF. And of course, you can get the raw data if you join the team. So this is the current team, and you see this is uh, the engineer on the right and the psychologists and education scientists on the left. So you're welcome to join us to make next time a bigger sample, more precise questions, and maybe some answers to these red question marks or red exclamation marks because something is wrong here because students who are interested in technical issues are not successful in technical studies. <laughs> this is not so good. So there is maybe a methodology um, problem with the methodology. Thank you very much. I think we have we have time for, for, for one or two questions, no more than that. Yes, please. Success rate on the left, left side yeah. and factors on the right side. For that. Would you then ask a student, uh, are you happy now, rate your happiness? And uh, assuming he would tell you uh, yes, then you can tell him, okay, don't, con don't c complete your study because you, according to our model, you, you would fail. <laughs> yeah, the, the, because you know, the, emotions are, are results, of course, yeah, of the environment of study. and. Uh, um, I, I would perhaps, I would perhaps uh, research what causes what causes these emotions. Yeah, as a second step, this might be interesting. But what we what we try is um, because the idea is find the emotion, which is not only happiness. So it's a customer satisfaction report. Yeah? So there there are some more ticks um, to use it as some kind of a, uh, of a pre-indicator or a uh, benchmark for these interventions. Because what, what, what we see or what we learned in Germany is we have this widespread of students. They came from different schools, 
maybe sometimes some of them came from the job. So the idea is, if we find a problem, and maybe we can figure out some kind of an emotion vector, maybe this is possible, um, then we can use it as a predictor. This is the idea. And then maybe find, have, uh, let's say, better interventions. But this is the key, yeah? There's no, so there's no, um, today there's no reason to think, make the students happy, make them successful, I don't know. And I don't think so, <laughs> but 